back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be sharing my June and July monthly favorites with you guys and I do want to mention that I'm sure you guys noticed I haven't really been really active on this channel for the past couple months because I have just been completely busy with being on vacation and being out of country for a little bit and all that and then trying to get up like vlogs and stuff because I do have a vlogging channel and if you guys do keep up with my personal Instagram and my vlogging channel you guys can kind of get an idea of what I've been up to. Even though the past couple months have flown by, I still wanted to share these favorites with you. It's not much because I was very minimal when it came to makeup and trying out new things since I was out of town. I did have a lot of things that I definitely used and loved those months and I'm just going to quickly jump right into it and start off with the face. My first face favorite is this Rimmel BB Cream and this is matte and this is in the shade medium. I do believe I have a um, review video on this product and I can link that down below. I use this a lot in June especially since I wanted like a light wear when it came to like any kind of foundations or anything like that. I pretty much stayed away from a lot of liquid foundations. I wore it a couple times but I wanted something really light on my face especially since the heat and the humidity in North Carolina kind of just you know was there and I was just like face melting and yeah foundation mixed with your face melting off is not a good look this was nice just to cover up and kind of even out your skin tone yeah loved that the next face favorite is this LA colors pressed powder and this one is in the shade tan and as you can see I have already hit pan on this product I pretty much used this up until now, I haven't applied any liquid foundation, and I haven't applied any BB creams or anything like that. I just start off with applying this product on my face first, and it kind of gives it a very light coverage and something very light. I noticed that a lot of my breaking out and pimples on my face started going away, and my face is pretty pretty clear right now. I do want to mention I do not have any liquid foundation on my face right now. It's just this pressed powder. And I've kind of been digging this look where it's not like full coverage face and just been applying the pressed powders as your base. This definitely helps with an everyday makeup look and it leaves my face really light which I do like. I did that the whole time I was in Peru because I was like really lazy and didn't want to wear makeup. I wore very very minimal makeup. I'm talking about brows, powder, a little bit of contour, and some mascara. I brought fake lashes. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I was about to wear some fake lashes in Peru, like walking around everywhere, but did not happen. <laughs> Another face favorite is this e.l.f. blush palette. And I got this one in the shade white. And my favorite shade out of all of them is this corally tannish terracotta shade right here. I absolutely love, love, love this shade. It looks really good when you do apply it as blush. And I also have been using it for the transition in my eyeshadow and have loved that look as well. This isn't really a face product, but like I said, I was very minimal when it came to, you know, packing makeup, bringing stuff, and all that since I've been gone and on travel. And I have been loving this Rob Sheppy for Teeny Beauty uh, eyeshadow, and this one is in Pearl Fizz. It has just a really pretty shimmer to it, and this I'm using a lot for highlighting my nose and my upper cheekbone areas. I just take my fan brush and just dab into it and then apply it in those general highlighting areas. Moving on to the eyes. I do have an eyeshadow glue, which I'm going to forewarn you guys right now. It does look a little dingy and gross because it kind of exploded in my makeup bag on the way to Peru, which kind of sucked, but um, I haven't really cleaned it off yet. And it is by the brand Duo, and like I said, look how nasty that is. It's just like dried up glue, and I was like so mad because this like eyelash glue got all over some of my makeup brushes. It was a really big pain to get that off. It doesn't take that long to get tacky. It takes maybe 30 seconds or so. What I do like about this is it does have a brush applicator, which is always a plus, so it's super easy to apply on your lashes. I like that it doesn't hurt when you like peel off the lash or anything like that at the end of the day. And since we are talking about lashes real quick, I wanted to point out my favorite lashes. And at the moment, it's the brand Kiss, and these are the number 11s. And they're pretty much like 
wispies and yeah absolutely love them I do have them on my lashes right now and as for mascara this is an oldie but definitely a goodie and I've brought it back it's just the best volumized extreme mascara by Jordana and I bought this because on our way back from Peru we lost our luggage when we got to Phoenix and I went how many days like four or five days without my makeup, without my um, hiking pack, so I had all my clothes and all of our souvenirs and everything in it. We ended up losing our packs from Mexico and we weren't too sure if we were going to get them back or not. Since I was missing all my makeup, which was giving me a heart attack, I never put my makeup in my check-in luggage. And since I didn't have much room on my travel carry-on bag, um, I was just like, you know what, let me just put it in my check-in because I don't have any room for this and I'm not wearing much makeup anyway so it really doesn't matter. I guess I'll just be okay. Of course the day that I do put it in my check-in luggage, my luggage gets lost. So I'm never probably going to do that again. In the meantime of that being gone, I had to purchase another mascara and of course I went to my go-to. I just love the brush on this. Look how big the brush is on this. This is what I've been using to bind my false and my real lashes together. And since I did lose all my makeup at one point, I had to get some eyeshadow and I went to e.l.f. and got the Golden Goddess. And these are just really, really, really pretty shades. And I actually used the little applicator that the eyeshadows come with because I had no makeup brushes. I was using my finger, these little things, and I mean, it did the job, but it was kind of sad. It was really sad. I haven't used one of those things in like years but anyways this is the shades that they come in which they're really really pretty neutral shades and they're surprisingly very pigmented which I absolutely love I think I paid like two or three dollars for this and another favorite that I've been using constantly in July was the Maybelline's blush nudes palette definitely love this palette because it does have like those pinky tones in it and you can pretty much create a whole makeup look with this and this is the only palette that I brought when I went to uh, Peru and Arizona so moving on to lips, I have two favorite lip colors that I want to share, and they are the matte lipsticks, and these are by Kiss, actually. And um, I got this at the Beauty Supply in North Carolina when I was over there. They were only $2.99, but these are matte shades, and I absolutely fell in love with these colors. This is a really pretty coral, and this one is in the shade Peach. And the second one right here is like a really pretty rosy, nudish, pinky nudish color. And this one is in the shade Nude Rose. Wow. That's so weird I said that. I didn't even know that it was called that. But anyways, really, really pretty. And I do have it on my lips today. It has complemented a lot of my makeup looks. I liked wearing a lot of like no makeup makeup looks. And, you know, like I do have like a light neutral smoky eye going on right now. And it goes well with that. And it goes perfect with the Maybelline Nudes palette because... It's just very similar in shade. For nails, I don't have my nails painted right now. I just took my nail polish off yesterday. But I have been favoriting a few nail polishes. And the first one is called Tree Hugger. And this one I, I wore a lot in June. Got this one in North Carolina. And then this one is in the shade Undercover. And I am obsessed with the shade because I just love that it's like a nudish mauve color and it goes really well with my skin tone I have it on my toes right now and I got the shade in Arizona and I wore this a lot in July and then as for a top coat I got this Seche Vide top coat and it's a quick drying top coat and I absolutely been loving this top coat I you can find this at Sally's but yeah, it dries super quick and um, it definitely helps because when I do my daughter's nails, I apply this top coat and she's the type of person, you know, obviously like any other three-year-old is, like she likes to move around and all this stuff. So I have to quickly apply this and it's usually dry by a couple minutes after I've already applied it. But yeah, definitely love this top coat. And then I do have a body spray that I wanted to mention. This is by the brand Bodycology, and this is the Pure White Gardenia. And this is just a little body spray. I like it because it has, like, a really light, warm scent, and the scent lasts, like, pretty much all day. And I like that it has that flowery scent, and it's, like, perfect for summertime. My next favorite isn't really a makeup product, but it is a purse. And it's like a little satchel. I got this in Peru. It is all leather and it is handmade. 
absolutely love this. It has a pretty good size compartment in it. I have my wallet in here and then it has a little smaller pocket which I have mommy stuff, a pacifier and some gummies in here. And then it has a zipper in the back. It's just so so pretty and I like that it was like fully handmade and it smells just like leather. Absolutely love this. I got this for steel. It was a really, really good deal. I got these for this for like 45 solace, but it does convert to about $15 in US. So that's like not bad, especially for like a handmade leather purse. But yeah, I wanted to quickly share that because this is what I've been using a lot lately. And then my last, last favorite, which I absolutely love 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 is my selfie stick and I know a lot of people get like crap for using a selfie stick but this selfie stick has definitely made some awesome pictures I used it a lot in North Carolina and I used it a lot in Peru it got me some pretty badass pictures in Peru and I used it a lot in Arizona so yeah just had to quickly share this with you guys it has a little cord that you can stick in like the earphone section of your phone and you just pull it all the way out and then press this button and it shutters and snaps for you but this has been an, an amazing investment it was like $7.99 I love it because it definitely saves the awkwardness of asking a complete stranger if they can take your picture and risking it going bad and then you don't want to like be rude like no can you take another one or take another one like you're able to take the picture yourself and if you don't like it then you can take it again and believe it or not there was quite a ton of people with selfie sticks and taking their own pictures which I thought was cool because like we weren't the only crazy looking ones walking around with a selfie stick. People at Machu Picchu, people in Peru were taking mad pictures with their selfie stick. People at the Grand Canyon were taking mad pictures with their selfie stick. It was pretty cool. So I knew I wasn't the only crazy one. But uh, yeah, just wanted to quickly give this little guy a shout out. I think that is everything for this video. Now that I'm home, I'm going to start uploading again and doing a lot of makeup tutorials. I miss doing makeup tutorials. I feel like I haven't done one in forever. Stay on the lookout for that. I also have my Machu Picchu vlog up and that is on my vlogging channel which I will link down below. I'll also list the Machu Picchu vlog down below as well if you guys are interested in watching that. I still have a lot of vlog editing to do. I'm so so behind because we just did a lot of stuff in the past like month. So I'm trying to like get caught up with that and then I'm trying to get back into the swing of things of making beauty videos again. So I hope you guys can forgive me for being kind of ghost lately. I've just been absolutely busy. But since we are home now I'm just trying to get into a good routine all over again. If you guys have any questions about any of the makeup products that I have mentioned, then just comment down below and let me know what's up. Like this video if you enjoyed watching, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. I will also list my Twitter, my Facebook page, my Instagram, and my vlogging channel around this area, and I'll have all the links down below as well, so definitely go check that out. Thank you so much for watching, ladies, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!